Welcome Walnut. I'm Lara, but you can call me Laz, your host for Walnut Wednesday. This is your reminder to be brave, be yourself, and know that you can make the world a better place just by what you decide today. Here, I'm going to share my weekly walnuttings with you on a Wednesday. Hello, Walnut. It is me, Laz, here for another episode of Walnut Wednesday. Funny story, just recorded this whole episode with my mic on mute. That was 15 minutes of some emotional goodness talking all about body love, got a little bit mosh, um, and there was no sound. There was no sound, so I'm trying to do this round two all over again while it's kind of fresh. Um Just wanting to share with you how um, I've been on holiday recently um, in the Cook Islands. I went to Rarotonga and the last time I had been there, I was 20 years old. I was but a baby. Um, And I looked back at photos, you know, before I left and had a little bit of a reflection. And I just thought, what a beautiful little banana. What a beautiful, beautiful girl. I went with my best friend Mandy. We had the time of our lives. We hired scooters. We had lots of drinkies. It was so good. But what I talked about on the muted episode was that um, I just, that past version of Lash, she didn't like herself. And I've said before, Walnut, I, I have had a really good life. I haven't had necessarily like all these heaps and heaps of bad things that have happened to me or that I have done. I'm sure I have regrets, but um, all in all, I, there was still just this part of me, despite having a relatively happy life, that I didn't like about myself, that I, I really loathed myself. And, and that was in that time, right? And I, I remember looking back at those photos. I got my arm, you know, away from the side of my body so it looks slimmer. I'm sucking in at all times it's all angle driven it's all about how how I look and everything and in the in the episode that was muted that I just recorded I talked about how um on this trip walnut I I noticed that I had these little moments at the tip of my tongue where um I still said sort of mean thoughts like oh should I wear the Christmas ham swimsuit (laughs) <laughs> and they call it the Christmas ham swimsuit because it's a little bit too small, still fits, which I'm really proud of, um, and not proud of about the sizing. It's just I, so I don't have to buy another one, and it's really comfy, and it looks really good. Um, but it is a bit back rolly at the back because it's sort of crisscrossy, so I call it the Christmas ham swimsuit. <laughs> so, I, you know, degrading comments like that kind of slipped out of my mouth, but I noticed them right away. And I kind of just talked about how it's been interesting going to a place where I had been to before with the mindset of I'm not good enough, I don't like myself, there are so many improvements to be made, and revisiting it with the mindset of I am so beautiful as I am. Um, I am not worried about the number on my clothing or um, – what what I should be wearing and if I should be covering up. Um, you know, I I visited and I walked around in clothes that were 14 to 16, up to 2XL in size, didn't even bat an eyelid at putting them on. I walked around in what was comfortable, uh, with what looked nice on my body shape. Um and I didn't I didn't think twice about not being enough. I just felt complete and whole as I am. Um and that is a testament to all of the walnut work, you know, that I have that I have done, that I have achieved. And I talked a little bit about Snack Hacks the workshop which I may or may not do again and that's all about it's like a self-led thing that you can purchase walnut if you're in the walnut tree. I think it's a little bit cheaper as well three modules on stuff that I have done in the past and still do some of it to this day to get me to the point of complete, not confidence, but comfort in my body as it is. Um, And the reason why I was getting motion in in the episode that was muted um, was I just 
started to feel just so sad about my past self and how I used to think about myself and how some walnuts to this day still feel and think about themselves um when it's so it's such a projection of like capital capitalistical things patriarchal things um there's so much there's so much attached to all of this but it just made me sad to look back at the photo of like the beautiful thin um which meant something but obviously it still wasn't good enough at the time young woman who was just trying to find her place in the world to to now where I just strut around in my little wobbly bits and my little XL two piece bikini um feeling enough feeling so enough um so I think that's that's what I wanted to sort of talk about and I gave a little bit of homework <laughs> in the episode that wasn't <laughs> um I quoted eat pray love um the wonderful wonderful scene where the friend's like oh my god I don't even fit my pants and Julia Roberts's character kind of says you know like have you ever been re- rejected by a man when you stood naked in front of him not that it should be about a man right but like no, because he's just at the jackpot because there's a naked woman in front of him. He's not looking at um, your Flaboda or whatever. He's thinking, <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, baby. <laughs> um, and then they talk about, she does, She says, I have no interest in being obese. But, um, you know, tomorrow we're going to do this. We're going to eat this pizza and tomorrow we're going to we're going to buy some bigger pants and that has been a big mantra of of walnut wednesday and my snack journey in general is just wearing clothes that fit how many times walnut raise your little hand um did you buy things um I'll, I'll buy it a size smaller because um it will motivate me to make me lose weight because it ma- magically will change your life and make you mean something if your two sizes smaller than what you are now no 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 right like squishing into the pair of jeans just to say I still fit a size eight that was me um because this weird number just brought some form of worthiness no 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 (laughs) it is not that is not the case walnut compared to uh you know my my example of buying size 16 jeans a number that would have petrified me when I was younger a number that would have made me feel not good Putting them on, doing them up, there's no muffin top. I'm comfortable. They look great. My body looks great. I look fantastic, feel fantastic. And that's it. Full stop. There's nothing else. But squishing into the size 8 jeans, there's stuff flowing over the top. I can't walk properly when I eat. I have to undo my pants. Should I even be eating? I don't even know if I should eat today. And like Julia Roberts says about how much self-loathing to bring into the shower with you at the end of the day and hate yourself and think about all the calories you have to count and all the things. No, 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 no. Makes me upset. Makes me upset, Walnut. Um, so my Walnutting this week, I was just sort of sharing my little my little reflection of being in a pla- in the same place years later with a different mindset, and that is um a mindset built upon all of my walnut work all of my self-love work um being good enough in myself and knowing that I'm good enough in myself um and that comes from babies like you know I didn't just wake up one day going I love you Laz you know it still comes out it still comes out like the Christmas ham comments and things like that but the key for me walnut has been noticing them as they come up celebrating them as they come up because then you know instinctually you will get to a point where um the reaction the reactive comment automatically is something else so I was sitting with my auntie in Rarotonga and she said you're you're still the same you know I was drinking a Long Island iced tea being a silly billy and she said you're still the same she said you're bigger but you're the same and that comment will not would have ripped me to freaking shreds. But what did I actually came out of my mouth? And I'm very surprised because I was, you know, having a drinky poo as well. So, you know, the motor skills were not as <laughs> emotionally intelligent. Um, but what came out of my mouth, Walnut? I said, yeah, 
because the last time I was here, I was 20 year, years old. That was the body of a girl. And now I'm a woman. This is the body of a woman. <laughs> and I owned it. I owned that I'm bigger. And what is wrong with the word bigger? What is wrong with big? Just like on the other end of the scale, what is wrong with thin? You know, and I, I know a lot of walnuts who like had the had the other end of the scale where they were always like, she's so skinny. Or you're so skinny, I wish I was like that. And it's like they you know, it's the other way around. Um, so I just I'm really, really proud of all of my walnut work that brought me to a place where I can hear a comment like that about my size, about my weight, about my figure, and not take it in the way that was negative, but take it as a, yep, that was then and this is now, and I'm a woman. I'm a whole lot of woman, baby. I'm a snack. I'm a tasty little walnut snack. Full stop. Full stop. No explanation or extra needing to justify or making an excuse or going, oh, yeah, I'm so fat now. I'm going I'm trying to be good. Uh, when I get home after the holiday, I'll be good. I'm going to get a salad to my – put it in the bin. <laughs> put it in the bin. That is all. I think that is a majority of what I covered in the in the podcast episode that I recorded that was muted. <laughs> Put it in the bin. Right. Well, no, this is such a bigger discussion. There's so many little tentacles attached to this, this being a tasty snack business, right? Let's talk about it more. But let's Let's talk about it more, but let's just acknowledge ourselves more. Let's love ourselves more without any justification. You're so worthy. You're so beautiful. You're so sexy. You're such a snack. And have you noticed that none of it has anything to do with, like, what size your freaking pants are or how flat your phloboda is or how least amount your arms wobble or – if your butt is flat or if your butt has um looks like like cheese because of your delicious cellulite which is normal imagine how wonderful the world would be if every walnut woman walked or not just women but you know if every walnut walked around in complete onus of who they are silence for dramatic effect but my brain is just going wild you're so worth it you're so worth it I'm gonna I'm gonna end this episode here Walnut because I just want you to know all of the baby steps all of the little snack cakes all of the little nice things that you do um for yourself that you say to yourself all of these little things, they will build up and you will go from a place of posing with the arm away, sucking in and not feeling good enough, looking good, but still at the end of the day, not feeling good enough to a place where you can just straight away reactively say, yep, but I'm a woman and I love myself. Strutting around, no matter what you look like, because you're comfortable. You're comfortable in your body. You're comfortable in your clothes. Because you're worth it. Because you're amazing. We need to celebrate that. You need to celebrate that. And we can do it together. We can do it together. And that doesn't mean everything is sunshine and rainbows all the time. That doesn't mean you won't have a Christmas ham comment come out of your mouth. But hit it. Notice it. Not hit it. But, you know, like, notice the thought. Celebrate that you noticed. And then next time, you might say something different. Have a happy Walnut Wednesday. You are beautiful, you are sexy, and you are delicious. And you are a freaking tasty snack. You are a force to be reckoned with. You are amazing. And the size of your pants has nothing to do with your worth. Fired up, Laz. Over and out. Have a happy Walnut Wednesday, and I'll talk to you next week. <laughs>